Hello everyone. Hope you are having a nice Sunday evening. So it's time to play this thing actually, at long last. Gran Turismo 4 Randomizer. I hope everyone is doing well already and we should get started with our licenses. <laughs> I haven't done this in a really, really long time, I shall say, so yeah. I don't know what, what can you expect out of me. <laughs> Let me know if everything is working alright, if you can hear me and if this isn't lagging or anything. Oh yeah, I have to disable vibration, right, I forgot. Yeah, right, here we go. Right, right, right off the bat, we get a we get a bronze. Let this set the, st the stage for what we will see today. <laughs> Just real quick, I have to disable vibration because I don't really like it. Uh, controller, controller. Uh, no. Controllers. Vibration. Oh, here we go. There. We go. So I really, I really don't know what to expect out of this. It's like either I get insanely lucky or I get really unlucky. However, I will try to buy cars whenever I get stuck, just to keep the playthrough going. Uh, because otherwise it'll be kind of boring for me. Ooh, kind of late there. Ah, we still got it. Because, I mean, I don't want the playthrough to get stuck because I don't have the specific price cars. I'll just try to rely on price cars as much as I can, but... not entirely on them, if that makes any sense. like the CRX, the Sol, it's a nice car. Yeah, I mean, it's not a Miata or anything like it, but it's not a bad car, I like the design. He always did. Yeah, I mean, th there's a chance it's a Fiat. <laughs> there is totally a chance. Ooh, silver. This is the exception, not the rule. Temple lip, this is the rule. <laughs> so we didn't have Formula 1 this weekend because there was a flooding in Italy. I don't know if anyone of you follows Formula 1. That was kind of sad really, but um, I'm, I'm glad because the, it will be, have been a disaster if there was a race with this weather going on. So they totally made the right call. Yeah, I mean, you won't really notice, I suppose. But yeah, you are right. They suffer from. They have a less rigid body rather than a coupe. That's totally true. The, the roadsters have a problem historically, all roadsters do, it doesn't matter. Oh god, here we go. Yeah, this is the ones I don't really like. Prepare for failure. <laughs> There's a chance I totally ruined this one. Or the following guided lap, or all the guided laps for that matter. You have to break so early for them, and it's so annoying. 
Uh, it means the prize cards are totally randomized, as any event can give you any car in the in the entire game. It, it, it doesn't swap the existing cars, it just grabs all the cars in the game and just plants them as prize cards depending on your on your name. They are all based on your username. used to be. yeah I mean there's a test that we will probably reach in the in this stream which I really dislike because the base the the base car breaks so early and yeah it, it breaks way too early for a turn and it makes you lose so much time silver <laughs> we're not getting silver As always, remember to leave a like on the stream because it really helps to promote it for more people. We're we're actually uh, 13 viewers right now, which is really good. Ah uh, yes, Infineon it's called in this game. I don't know it by any other name actually. <laughs> which is a shame because it's a really good track, but yeah, you're right. It's called Infineon in this game. Another silver. Yeah, if I get a sober C9 as my first car, that will be brilliant. It's not going to happen, I'm sure it's not going to happen. Yeah, no, now it's now Sonoma Raceway, yeah, that's that's true. But since I never really seen it, I guess, uh, I'm not too much into American racing. Like, I don't know what happens at all. So I, don't, I only know it by the Infineon name from Gran Turismo. Too early? Yeah, too late. No, too late, actually, not too early. <laughs> yep, here we go. Welcome to the license experience in this channel. Uh, no, actually, I didn't. It was a really awful interview and it wasn't worth my time. The reality is, they want they, it wasn't a it wasn't really a position for me. But at the same time, the the job market in my country is just a disaster. Like a full time job pays around three hundred dollars. More if you... Oh god. This thing has terrible brakes. Uh, as I was saying, like a full-time job here in my country pays around 300 to 400 dollars if you're lucky. And this one they wanted to pay me like very low, 200, like near 200, barely. And it was a full-time job like with rotating shifts and the like and... No, it wasn't for me. They wanted to, me to run a, t a card game and a casino as well, so... Yeah, it wasn't really a good idea for me. I didn't suit the profile. Oh! First call of the run! First and only, probably. <laughs> uh, I'm from Argentina, really. Uh, it happens. Like, if I'm honest, uh, right now, right now, my, my biggest... My biggest priority is making YouTube work, if it's possible. Mostly for a few reasons. I mean, as I said, I, the, the income bracket here is really low, like, for working full-time jobs. And even if I do manage to get a good job, there's a few problems with that. First of all, the fact that I have, like, to deal with 8 to 9% inflation monthly. Wait, no, not retry. God damn it. 
So, if I make money, like whatever money I make, I lose at least 8 to 9% on inflation and it's probably going to go up through the year. So, whatever kind of job here is probably a bit of a disaster. And I want something that I can do for myself, not, not rely on other people, because in reality, I won't, I won't find jobs in the industry I want to work for the way things are. So for now, it's, if it's possible and it works out, I'm going to sink all of my time on YouTube while I, while I try to do other things. Of course, I'm not denying that I, I, I won't go to interviews and the like, because I don't know what people will offer me. But if I can make this work, then I should totally go full time on this. Yeah, I s yeah, Maverick, that's nice. But in reality, you guys don't have inflation. I mean, here we have like crazy, crazy inflation, so it's even worse. Oh god, no, not this, not this again. This one is terrible, actually. <laughs> I used I used to see these things on the street all the time. They were pretty popular in here when they released. Now they're kind of rare, like you don't see a first gen C3 all, all the time. And it's not this shade of blue, but there was a, like a bright, uh, a, a, diff a shade of blue which was everywhere. Every single C3 was on this color, so I have a particular dislike for this car. <laughs> and it's even worse you put me in a truck with uphill sections, which this thing can barely make it through. But it's just... Yep, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that's another thing I didn't go into the... The Argentinian tax regime. <laughs> That's why probably most of the country works outside of the of the greedy hand of the state. <laughs> but that's another and totally another story. Ah, we have like a mix of French, uh, French, no, a mix of European and American cars here in my country. But the funny thing is, as time evolved, the the American brands started to use their European lines, like Ford Focus, Chevrolet Corsa, rather, you know, rather than the Opel Corsa. So yes, there's not many American models as as there used to be before. Oh God, that was late. I need to be careful. That was really late. So there's something I have to ask you all. Personally, I want to get through the licenses as early and quickly as possible. But in this game they get rather long, so I assume you'll want to see some racing. Do you mind if I do all the licenses in one sitting and race later, or you want to see some races mixed in? No. Go. Yeah, totally, if you can the most enjoyable license test in the game. This and um, the PT Cruiser at Infinite, and that one, that one, like the truck is more manageable than this one, but still, totally, totally a, a torture test. Yeah, the thing about Mexico is the fact. You can... they have... the thing about Mexico is like they are really close to the US border. So... they get a lot, a lot of the US market in them. Yes, every single price car in the game is random. Everything, everything is randomized. Yeah, pretty, my thought is that like if I do all the licenses now then we can only focus on racing. That's my point as well, but... It, it's boring for us. I assume it's a boring stream. I mean, I don't know. You can always make it interesting with commentary, I suppose. 
<laughs> which, which coming from me is asking too much already. I'll tell you, I'm not that interesting. Oh yeah, mate. This license is totally going to be for another stream. My plan is doing B to IA, then keep the S license for later, maybe. Because the S license is just to guide the lab, uh, full lab runs and it's going to take a bit. Especially given I don't remember most of the tests of my mind. It's been a long time since, since I've done PT4 licenses. See? This is. This is what I mean. It's been a long time since I've done this. I probably They probably do, but you need to wait a full year before they work, like past 365 days. And yes, of course, it's emulated. <laughs> nice jump before the end. Yeah, this, this thing is brilliant, I love these things. I would like it on white though, like... Oh, did I press... Did I have to press next or not? Ah, we'll find out later. Ah, here we go, first theater of the run for those who were asking for one. This thing is interesting, actually. It's totally not a sports car. It's not made with that intention, but it's an interesting car anyway. Did I? Oh, for a second I thought I get I got called, but I didn't realize it was a second later. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I mean, European cars here, like, arrived... I don't know when, where, who were first, like, European brands or North American manufacturers, like, American manufacturers, but... What I know is that the mix is real, like, if... If the American manufacturers, like, Ford and GM didn't start importing their European models, they will have struggled. Because the quality of life and and all has gone down for decades so people need cheaper and cheaper cars and you can't make like a large car cheaper you can make like a massive Ford or cheaper or a massive SUV cheaper so small cars are really the way to go in this, in this part of the world Then you have to deal with the entire fact that for a long time, and for still is is still a thing in as to a certain degree, imports are really regulated. Like they have absurd taxes, and there there was a time when there were outright banned. So that's another problem for the car industry. At the same time, that means certain cars it's impossible to find spare parts because they are imported and. There is no spare parts of for those vehicles anymore. So yeah, having a car here it's not exactly easy. It it it, it takes a lot of money, <laughs> first of all. Right now, right now there's like a tire shortage. It has to going on for a year or so. Among all the other things that are in short supply, thanks to regulations and. And the and the usual stuff we deal here. Now you have you don't have you don't even have tires for cars. <laughs> it's a really it's a really unique situation. And that's playing it nicely, you know. It, it's not really fun, but one one, ha one try to tries to make it fun, so it's bearable.
Yeah, the SM flopped in the entire world, actually. It was released right at the early 70s, and... Yeah, it, it, it was a bad timing for, for that car. It pretty much is one of those cars which went down thanks to the to the economic crisis of the early 70s. And then the fuel shortage of the early 70s. <laughs> Both things happened at the same time, so it wasn't a good moment for, for Citroën to release that car. Yeah, at the same time, in the early 70s, the American regulations got a, lot got a lot tougher, so a lot of cars just had to adapt or just leave the market. And given many cars just didn't sell at all, I suppose it's cheaper to, cheaper to leave the market. Yeah, pretty much, just Latin American things. But maybe, maybe it's me. I don't think the rest of Latin America is as bad. It just doesn't seem as bad from all from all I know and hear and see. This place definitely takes the crown at times. All right, first price car of the run. What do we get? What do you think we get? Right, here we go. Moment of truth. Of truth. Oh god, that was an awful pronunciation. Oh! <laughs> well then. Alright. We got a drift car. Totally wasn't expecting this thing. This is going to be fun, but we're not using it, so. <laughs> right, I'm going to save. Yes, so I have auto save or disable. Oh, I always disable auto save in this game. Yeah, we're off to a good start. We're off to a good start with a drift car. Thanks a lot, Justin. The pain must have been so intense. <laughs> yeah, there's people who actually look for limits at the wrong wheels now, and I assume that must be a nightmare to find for specific builds. That must be crazy difficult, like finding a specific rims that are already out of out of production. Uh, thanks, Tikanji, that's good to know. Yeah, I was kind of concerned about that. Because, um... Yeah, I was kind of concerned about that, because I know there's a, a setup you have to just... A thing, setup thing you have to change for the licenses, but I forgot to find it, and yeah, we're doing it as it goes. <laughs> Totally threw that away. Now this thing likes to slide a little bit. I admit I had no problems running um, Gran Turismo 2. 
Ah, uh, yes, there's a Discord link on my description. It's PCSX2, obviously. The, the dev build, not the 1.6.0. It's the dev build with Vulcan, the latest one. This thing, this thing is interesting. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Does anyone like like the Eclipse Road Roadster? Does anyone actually like this car? I I'm really curious. Like, ah, uh, I can't find the appeal. <laughs> of course, I can't find the appeal. I'm going too fast for this thing. Yeah, that, that's probably why, yeah. Jesus, this thing is awful. It refuses to turn. How much do you want me to slow down? There we go. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah, that's pretty actually accurate, like the first car on Midnight Club 3. And the Fast and the Furious too. it was like the purple car. Ooh, a Legacy. A Legacy is going to be a pretty important part of my next video, which should come out next week. I don't want to make promises on which day, but it should totally be up next week. Ooh, Sailor. Totally, to and and to make it worse, like Gran Turismo 4 has license tests with um, with driving aids, so cars feel really, really bad at times. Really terrible. Oh no, another guided run. Ugh. <laughs> This thing is going to... Oh, yeah, there you go. Had to lift off for a second there. Yeah, and it also has driving tests with the aids disabled. Uh, yeah, I don't really get it why. Just Gran Turismo 4 problems. <laughs> That's something that should be fixed one day. Either make them all with driving aids or none. And personally, I prefer none. Just let me disable them because handling in these slower cars without with traction and stability control is really weird for me. Is there ABS in Gran Turismo 4? I know there's a great balance and that, but I don't think there's a specific option for ABS. It's just the stability and traction control. I assume all cars have like an inbuilt ABS system. Just a theory, you know, I'm not certain. I don't know much of the of the inner workings of this game. I just know, I just go from what I know from playing around building cars. Hey, another silver. Yeah, TCS, <laughs> there you go. Nah, it's fine, it's fine, just wanted to make sure. Also, there's 22 of us and just 7 likes. <laughs> Come on, do me a favor, just tap the like button. Nah, that's fine, don't worry about it. Those names are really confusing, actually. Yeah, it, it takes some effort to... 
to get them all in your head, and of course I get confused to this day with a few things. If I'm thinking of my mind, I have to say them quick, of course I get confused. <laughs> yeah, of course you're going to go white. Uh, I really like this SLK, like with the roof down. I don't like the silver color, but it's nice. Going to slow. Also, we're going to slow. <laughs> no, Dad, don't go, don't do that. <laughs> hey, thanks, I appreciate it. I'm going so slow for this. Uh, see, this is what I mean, like, the cars with traction control and stability control throws me off, so I have to adapt as I go. And I'm not used to it. Totally not used to it. Because I usually drive with everything off. And I know what to expect, but I don't know what to expect with these things on. Like, I don't know when to brake, when to turn, it's really weird. Uh, wow. That was so close for silver. So close. Grid 1, um, I have to play Grid 1. I have it installed, but I never really invested too much time into it. I don't know if Moteg is in, in, me, in Grid 1. Oh, an Evergreen. First time on the Evergreen. <laughs> that, was, that was closer than I would have liked it to be. Ah. A red gold five of all things. I'm going to start using save states, so in case something goes wrong. Ooh, RX-8! <laughs> Here we go. This thing has traction control, as I, as I assume, given how it went, how it started to slide when I went on the power. Hey, silver! I'd say I will get. I will. Oh, right. The this thing. actually used this generation of the Type R. I know it exists, but I, I never... Oh! Oh! I never used it. Yeah, I assume the problem with RX-8s is finding one which has been looked after. Given they are, they were kind of cheap for some time, and I assume a lot of people just skipped out of maintenance and started to mistreat them. Yes, my theory. Yeah, the, the C6. Oh, this is the test that I've been dreading. This test is something else, and you'll see what I mean when we get to it. 
I actually like this generation of the Integra, the Type R. It's really, really nice. Way, way, way back then, when I was, when I was a children, I used to have like a red scale, a scale model of this Integra. Sadly, it it was broken and it went into the garbage. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it was always a really nice car for me. <laughs> Not perfect. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. Um, you can never, you can't really expect each car to behave in the same manner. Especially when you get into used cars. Like used cars are a world of their own, and sadly, most people won't treat them like you'll treat them. So whenever you start talking about used cars and the like, it really matters who owned it and which sort of people who, who's, which sort of people used had it before you sorry I got mixed there and no I never actually went for gold licenses and that's not my problem with this test <laughs> you'll start to see what I mean when we approach the, this, the next section of the track this section of the track is the one that bothers me to no end because the pace car starts braking way too hard for the following corners not these two, but the, the ones after the straight, like 130R and the, the, chica the chicane. Those two are just a nightmare and... You want to go fast to make up some time, but the, the AI will, will deny you that, that, that luxury. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Oh, that's frustrating. I went into way too hard there. I was hoping that I would make the turn, but... Even though I've been fighting the car for most of the lap, I should have realized. Oh. I don't want to do this again. I don't want, want you all sitting through this again. It's going to be like, oh, boring, change the channel. <laughs> Which I won't blame you. By the way, I won't blame you. Just watching me lose my mind as this skyline pulls away from me. Local streamer goes crazy thanks to base car skyline. More news at 8. Yeah, it's pretty much how we the name of the song. Ooh, that was... I'm playing with fire right there. <laughs> I almost, almost go outside the track there. <laughs> yeah, that's what downforce and not having driving gates allows you to do. Just take those corners flat out, but no. I don't have that luxury. I have to deal with traction control and, and other things. I'm limited by by stock street tires as well. Rather than full blown slicks. <laughs> really, really. Really? Well, the Gran Turismo 4, uh, no, well, Gran Turismo as a whole has brilliant menu music. The racing music for me has always been kind of eh, a mix of, a mixed bag. Not my favorite, not the worst, but you know. 
it's just for me. I, I, pref I will prefer other music. I don't know how to explain it. See, this is what I mean. This is exactly what I mean. I have to go to a complete stop right there because the base car just breaks way, way too hard for the chicane. It's unnecessary. Totally unnecessary. Wait. Ah, 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 I thought I thought it was good. Ah, I won't get gold. I thought it was there, but no. It will have been hilarious though. But no. Unfortunate. Right, back into the dirt we go. Oh, a delta. This track, this track is one that I don't really like at all. Oh god. Oh! <laughs> yep. Totally don't like this track at all. I'm not good at it. Don't even remember it. Ah. Can you just go? Yeah, barely. Hey, hey, Josh Joshua, thanks. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to this tiny and ever-growing madhouse that is my channel. <laughs> um, these versions of the Gran Turismo music, music songs are actually are actually remix, remixes of previous songs that been, have been released. Most classic Gran Turismo songs have been all released in Gran Turismo 1. Not all released, but the Japanese release. And if you listen to the Japanese soundtrack, you'll start, you'll start finding a lot of familiar songs, which have been re-released re for future games. <laughs> it's actually really interesting. I'm not good at driving dirt cars. Dirt driving in this game always feels weird to me. Never feel, never feels right. Ooh, this one, this one. Gran Turismo veterans will know this one. Ever since Gran Turismo One, this test has been. The nightmare of so many people, myself included. And then it came back for Gran Turismo 3, and now it's back in Gran Turismo 4. <laughs> Different versions of the GTR, like in Gran Turismo 1 you had a white R33, and in Gran Turismo 3 and 4 you have a, an R32 with different colors. Yes, this test, this test is totally special. Here we go. Oh, we're not making it, are we? We're not making it, are we? Oof, that was close. That was really close. <laughs> I love this test in GT1, GT, GT1, GT4. Yeah, I assume it's thanks to the driving aids. Alright, safe state. Just to be sure and safe. Oh, now the TT. Of all colors, it had to be like this boring ass gray. No. Ah! Went way too hard. I never chased gold licenses, actually. Maybe I shall one day, but uh, I'm not good enough for that. 
and grinding a single test for hours just isn't my idea for entertainment. Don't get me wrong, I do like the price cars, but no. there are easier ways to get the price cars. Kind of. <laughs> oh god damn. Yeah, that's the Haldex all-wheel drive system. It's not all-wheel drive, it's just a front-wheel drive with a, with a differential which sends power depending on on the loss of grip. Oh, why am, why am I not first here? Oh. Was... Sorry. Why wasn't I first? Does anyone have thoughts on the Master 6? I think it's a nice car, but I never seen never seen anything about it, like nothing good or nothing bad. It's just a car, it just exists. <laughs> you know, it's one of those cars. Yeah, the, the one point the one point eight turbo from Volkswagen is a brilliant engine. Totally, totally a brilliant engine. You can get a lot of power out of them, and on top of that, they have been featured in so many cars that there there will be parts until the end of time. Yeah, I've seen a few Master 6s, but here's the thing, they are from the 1990s, <laughs> when they are, were actually imported into the country. <laughs> After that, we, we don't get any masters. I think we're good. Just looking at the timer and, and all, I think we're fine. But I have to keep in mind, I have to take this chicane properly, which I never do. <laughs> I always take a bit of a creative line just to put it nicely. So... Ah, just a bronze. Oh, that sounds brilliant, like a Mark VI Golf with the 2-liter. That must feel really nice to drive. Oh, I'm going to graduate. <laughs> it's my graduation test. First time I'm getting a degree on something. <laughs> Of course. Of course. Hey, thanks, Dancha. Greetings. Hope you're doing well and having a nice Sunday. VR6 is lovely, like, they have such a nice sound. But there aren't many of those, right? But they only made them during the 90s, and there's not many cars with a VR6 option. What the hell was that? Oh, 
Gran Turismo 4 and your licenses. This is why I never do them in this game. <laughs> yeah, that, that one wasn't me, I'm sorry, I got distracted for a second. I think the idea of guided labs will be well, isn't so, is such a bad idea to start to teach you how to drive in a track in a specific track because you're not really following the car with your eyes and learning its lines. It doesn't work that way. Do you want me to break? See that this is my problem. I think without driving aids I would have been just fine to take that corner. But now the car just locks up and decides it doesn't want to turn anymore. Because the rear will kick in just a little bit. so many problems with this test. There we go! At last! Sorry for that, I just wanted to focus for a second. And it's price car time! What do we get? What do we get? See, let's see, let's see. Oh, you're got, you, you are kissing me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this playthrough is so busted. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> What the hell, man? <laughs> My God. Um, shall we try the IP license as the last license of the stream and see what do we get? Or you want to see races already? We could look at the used car market and see if there's something worth using as a starter. <laughs> Listen, that this run is just starting. I 
Um, so what do we do now? More licenses? Let's do more licenses just to find out and see how broken my luck is. My god. Ooh, a Hyundai Tiburon. This thing, this thing is interesting. I was too slow for that, alright. Well, I was playing it really safe there. Also, there's third year boss, which is something I'm really grateful for. But there's only 10 likes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I can't believe like 30 people is watching this stuff. This is this is going this is going to be such a boring run. Given I I have like two busted ass cars to start the run with already, but that's why I can buy cars just to avoid these sorts of situations. So don't worry, I'll buy something. Something which isn't as broken for the... to start the races with. Ah, Tiburon was your first car. That's... Uh, that's not a bad nice, a bad first car, actually. This thing, I, I, I really like this thing, but my problem is... For some bizarre reason, Polyphony didn't give us any of the AMG variants of this thing, which they were pretty interesting. I mean, like you had a, you had like the SL73, which is, which is the monster and a legend already. But yeah. Well, stroke. Yeah, that's how fun goes usually. The the average mobile experience involves a few strokes. <laughs> Oh, Prelude. If, you, if you've been on the last stream, you know how good these things are. I don't like the color of this one, but you know how good they are. Oh, really? 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 You want me to break harder for that? Come on. Yeah, this is the, the good thing about Gran Turismo, you can create your own challenges. You can be a bit creative and create your own challenges. If you're curious, like, my next video is a Gran Turismo 4 challenge and it took, it's going to be like a 40-ish minute video. <laughs> because it's such a long game, there's so much to do. Silver, just like the car we were driving. Oh no, exit. Yep, the the SL73 was the one with the engine, which later went into the Pagani Sonda. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, one can say it's probably a sleeper, I mean, it will be nice if it remains that way for a few years. <laughs> because all the cars that I have some interest in, they are just unaffordable right now, so... And if things keep being this way, I won't be able to afford a car anytime soon. Oh god, more guided laps. Oh yeah, this has four so brilliant. And the earlier ones with Turbo D6 are excellent as well. Those early S4s were something special.
the 206, the 206 was a really popular car in my country when it released. And it still is, like people won a lot of money for these cars. Even how many they were sold. And there's very, very, very few variants of the GTI, I think, or I'm not sure if there was a GTI. Yeah, there was a GTI 206. And there's very few of those and people want crazy money for those. <laughs> I actually like this track. It's better than Cita Diaria. It's way better than Cita Diaria. Yeah, totally. The the eclipse is just so heavy that you're you're off to a rough start. You're rough to a rough start. Two days to go. This time. Jesus, that's a long time. <laughs> Pretty much done, <laughs> John. Something which people do here, for those who don't know, is like... People want to modify their suspension, right? But they don't have money to buy the proper springs. So you have cars with chopped springs, like literally chopped springs. <laughs> and they have like the front lower than the rear of the car raised. It's just so awful. Oh, I'm going to crash into this thing. Ah, yeah, depends on the version. Like, I don't think it's a bad car. Yeah, they actually got springs. Like, there's a lot of people who got springs on their cars. Yeah, it's a terrible idea, but, you know... So it goes when people don't have money and want to do things. That's the sort of stuff you have to, to deal with. Expecting that. Right, right. That's good. That's good. Oh, this one. This one. This is a certified classic already. The slalom test. <laughs> ah, here we go. Yeah, see, like, a decent car here, it doesn't go below a thousand, two thousand dollars. But you might say, oh, that's reasonable. Oh, come on, it's starting to feel weird. People will say, oh, that's reasonable, but the part that they are, they are missing is the average Argentinian gets like $300 as a salary if he, if it's lucky. You have people that earn the 200 bracket. And... So getting a car here, when you pair it... Oh, God. How close, I, how close was I to that cone? Yeah, anyway, as I was saying. When you pair that with the cost of running a car and inflation and all of that, which means people can't save for a car because they get more expensive, and believe me, that's what happened to me twice, that's why I don't have a car. Yeah, it's not easy to have a car in here. This stick feels really sensitive. That's the problem. It all feels really sensitive. It, it, it don't feel like so sensitive, like it just can't touch the steering wheel or the car flies off. And... Yeah, I'm probably turning way too early. You have a point. Ooh, I'm playing with fire right there. 
Ah! God damn it. Oh, well, that makes sense. Like, just removing the springs for the show. If the car's going to be sitting there, I suppose it makes sense. Ah! I'm not seeing the cones, just... I'm sorry, probably not seeing the cones. I have to focus on the cones, not the car. Sixty-three, that will be like a hundred kilometers per hour. I know I'm not going to make it right. Ah, there we go. There we go. A really terrible run, but a run nevertheless. That's what matters. Yeah, you're right, first person will make this easier. But I'm kind of lazy to change it. <laughs> this one, this one is the one without traction control. Yeah, but we're going to use the proper camera. Keep in mind that I need to keep the trout along so the car doesn't slide. <laughs> and of course, like, the the one without driving aids I clock on the first try. This is, the, this is the experience we have in this channel, the duality of the yellow bird experience, ladies and gentlemen, mostly gentlemen. <laughs> Who are we fooling in here? Oh god, the crossfire. Poor thing, the, Ch the Chrysler crossfire. Brilliant design, terrible mechanics. <laughs> My god. And th this thing, this thing will have been so much better with with a proper engine and, and all, but it's just a rebadge SLK. And it's not that the SLK is a bad car, but this one deserved so much better than just leftovers from... Mercedes-Benz. By the way, by the way if, so, if you all want to join my Discord server for updates and a small growing community, there's a link in the description to this video. Well, video, live stream. <laughs> you know what I mean. Number nine. Oh, the border, the Volkswagen border. Another classic. There's a bit of a story here. <laughs> here we go. There's a bit of a classic story here with the Bora. Earlier you, you all were talking about the the 1.8 turbo engines from Volkswagen. Well, that engine found its way to the to the Bora right here, and it kind of became a a, a classic car in my country thanks to it, and it has a certain reputation to it right now. <laughs> Certain types of people buy the 1.8 Bora, <laughs> which is known as Jetta in the rest of the world. I'm turning so early for this thing. I'm going to use this camera because I don't see anything.
See, this is Sita the Aryan. I find this truck so much offensive than than what's its what's its name like Costa the Amalfi. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> this thing is just mental. People demand crazy money for that car, and it's just ridiculous. Oh god, guided lap in Hong Kong. Oh, at least it's, it's an MGF. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, base car. Where are you going? Right, I know some people here speak Spanish and I speak English. It's not because the, the channel is in English, but I mean, I could speak Spanish at times. I just don't want to leave people out, you know. And I think the majority here speaks English. That's why I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> yeah, if there's anything which requires my Spanish skills, I'll use them. Hey Renato, hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a nice Sunday. Pretty, pretty much all guided laps are pretty, are, are are awful. <laughs> that's my that's my stand, and nobody's going to change it. That I will die on this hill. I mean, who needs a guided lap for a circuit with just 90 degree turns? Really, I I have to I have to make that question. Like, what's the point of a guided lap in a circuit with just mostly 90 degree turns? And you need to know the braking zones rather than anything else, because it's all about braking zones. You just break in the straight line and start turning in. What's the point? Yeah, you, 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 this is starting to bother me. <laughs> We're not getting gold. We're just sliding all over the track. We're not getting gold. Sub two minutes, sub two minutes. No, not sub two minutes. Uh, hey, well, I'm glad that you're here. This is like a growing small channel. So whenever I see new people, I get really happy that they are here and they can provide them with a new new, new provider for their Gran Turismo addiction. <laughs> oh, rally time. Are you ready to see me suck at rally stages? You totally are. Ow. Think like the game will allow you to, to carry more power than you actually can. Yeah, and that was too slow actually. Yeah, I don't want to war right this test, I'm sorry, but yeah, you're, you're totally right. It will, it will be, it will make it really easy if I do that. Okay, 
Okay, this looks promising. There we go. There we go. How long have you been streaming? Let's see. An hour. Um. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking if I can. I am thinking if I can do AI, the AI license and just go into racing on, or just wrap it up with a IB and just go into racing now after I get this license. Personally, personally, I would like to do AI and just get get this thing over with. Yeah, that was a terrible run. That was a really terrible run. But I really like this Celica though. This is a really nice car. And it doesn't help like we are in the middle of snow when you give me a white car. <laughs> Camouflage. <laughs> I should use the handbrake, but I don't want to use the handbrake. God damn. It's hard for all the wrong reasons. Really. I know, I just don't like how cars drive in the snow. If I keep struggling with this test, we're going to have to wrap it up with IB and just go into racing. I totally forgot how to do this test. I haven't done it in ages, like I'm talking literal years. I never do the Gran Turismo 4 licenses, which is why I'm giving you all this terrible experience. Which I'm sorry for. <laughs> hey, like, I'm, I really like this card. I will like one for myself. First here, maybe. Come on, come on, floor it, floor it. Ah, you gotta be joking, man. That was so close. Yeah, I probably could. Probably could do that. Now I'm sending it too late. There we go. There we go. Sorry for that. It took longer than I would like, have liked to. Focus RS. This one shouldn't be too bad. I actually never used this car in game. Only for the license test. 
Literally, only for the license. drive a proper speedboat of a car. B12 vessel. I'm not complaining, but I, I don't like the color. It's a bit boring. You totally can pick up another color for this car. Ooh, that was a that was a close wall. That was a really close wall. Just slow for silver. It will have a nice silver on a silver car. First try. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome to hell. <laughs> Welcome to hell. This place might look nice on the outside, but it's awful on the inside. <laughs> uh, I have to do a full lap with this guy in front of me. This is going to take a while. Oh, oh. Yeah, right. Off you go. Slow. And by the way, the next test is also in this truck, if I am counting properly. It will be then the final test of the license, but it's going to be in this truck. Oh, right, we have to do AA-15. That's going to take a while. Ah! <sighs> I was playing with fire, Here we go, yet again. Given this is the previous to last test of this license, you should start pulling your gambles for, for the price car I will get. So far this run has been pretty crazy. Yeah, I totally touched the wall, but yeah, it's it's really difficult to see, so it's it's really unfair. But yeah, I totally was hugging the wall there a bit too much. That's really unfair, that section of the track is brutal. I mean, it's nice to lap by your own. Whenever you have to a car in front or you have to overtake someone, it becomes a totally different track. Uh, for single laps, for, for time trials, yeah, it's nice, but whenever you have a, have a car in front, this track is a nightmare. That is my stance on it. Ooh, almost, almost. I can't see what the rear of the car is doing with this camera. Breaking so early here. 
because this guy, this guy has problems. Imagine if the Formula 1 pace car driver was incompetent as this one. He will be a meme factory. <laughs> Right, this corner. I was I was hoping when it will come because I knew it was there and it's totally a beginner's trap if you aren't expecting it. You go straight into the wall. Yeah, front. Done. Ah. If only I didn't have to see Sita the area again, but it's the next test as well. Oh really? Is it is it nice? Uh, that's good to know. I I was expecting it to be a terrible car. Um, I love this color on the street. It's so just so beautiful. So so beautiful. Start putting your bets for the next car that I will get. And um, no, I didn't get my t to drive the car. On my save doesn't have one. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was too slow there. Totally too slow. I know, I know I was too slow. Just to give you time to to start thinking about price cars. Ah, forgot about the bump. Forgot about the bump. Really? It's time, it's time, it's it's the moment you all been waiting for. Ah, uh, it's Alotus Spreviate. Now, price car time. <laughs> Hey, this is actually really good. <laughs> this is actually pretty good. I really want to see what, what's behind AI. You'll have to forgive me. We're doing AI 15 tonight. But I promise once we get done with this, we'll do a lot of racing. I promise you. Ooh, XJ220. XJ220. One of my favorite cars and one of the fastest cars ever made. It would be nice to have a have a use for this thing if I ever get one, but I doubt it. I doubt it will happen. Yeah, I do have to buy a used car because. Or maybe not, I could do something else. Start with the, start with more difficult races with the GTR and Yeah. We'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. In no small part I'm doing the licenses so I can see if I can have a a slower first car because the ones I got are totally busted. Ah, that will be interesting. Uh, it will be nice to know if the B specs are just a risking or they are actually worth chasing. Oh, this is nice. Just look at this thing. This is really nice. Like the color combination is, is spot on as well. 
and it's the V6 as well, so there's nothing to complain. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I want to keep my buying cars as limited as I can in order to progress through the game. But at the same time, I don't want to have a, a GTR on the Sunday Cup because it's too broken. I want to have races that are somewhat interesting. But yes, that's the point of the, the challenge. Oh, no silver. Oh. There's like a hundred Nissans in this game. It would be nice if they all had small differences to them. Ooh, guide to chicanes. Yay, I really need a guide to chicanes, Gran Turismo 4, this late on my driving experience journey. Yay. I'm totally getting so much luckier than all the people I have seen play this, which is absurd. I, I, I don't know what I will get for the AI license, but I'm not sure. I, I don't know what to expect anymore because I have like three cracked cars already. <laughs> Oh, the first and only time you'll drive one of these things. I don't know what I will get next. The only way to find out is by completing this license. And they have to do AI-15 for that. Which won't be fun. Because <laughs> they haven't done that test in ages and I don't know how the E190 EVO handles with the specific setup the game forces upon me. The time isn't the problem in AI-15, the problem is doing the entire lap without getting screwed by the pace car. Ooh, silver. That is the problem. Doesn't the Spec M has a few different colors than the Spec 2? Ooh, guided lap. Yeah, gold is actually challenging. But even the 10-minute ten, ten mar margin that they give you is a lot. The thing is making a clean lap which isn't ruined by the weird handling of the car if you are used to something different or the, or the base car itself. So yeah, the problem with AI-15 is that guy up ahead and being clever enough just to to do a clean run without getting nervous. Yes, this is a 1.8. If I remember, it is a 1.8. All these people have like the stories about, oh, I tried to get the gold tests, I tried, did this, and I, from day one it was like, nope, I'm not good enough for this, I'm not trying. <laughs> I'm going straight to racing. <laughs> Maybe one day we shall do that on stream, trying to get all gold. The randomizer will be an interesting, an interesting excuse to finally, finally do that. But you know how it goes. I mean, oh, sorry, I won't try it. Unless you want to, like, uh, if you manage to convince me, no, not convince me, sorry, wrong word. If you are all interested in watching me lose my sanity doing all licenses, then yeah, totally.
Oh yeah, we have driving missions as well. I forgot about those. The first 10 driving missions are actually really simple and it will net me another price card, which is also randomized. <laughs> so we could do that whenever we are done with this license test. I did mission 34 a few times and yeah, it's not easy. Silver? Silver? Yay, silver. Just a second, I need water. Exactly, if you want me to lose my mind, just tap the like button. <laughs> you got you got that right. Yeah, I mean that's the point. Gold isn't worth my sanity, but um I mean doing it in a in, in a stream is different than doing it for myself. That that I will admit that. It's totally different. The mindset I have is totally different. But at the same time I, I know I'm worse when I, case in point, I'm sliding all over the track. I'm worse when I have to drive and talk, so... Yeesh. I know gold licenses and keeping myself interesting for an audience, that's going to be a really, really difficult challenge. Especially in Gran Turismo 4. But hey, I mean, maybe it's fun. You never know. It will be fun if I get a uh, pace car, yeah. And there's two of them. One is the actual pace car and one's the GTR with the pace car livery, but just on a, on a regular GTR. Ooh, that was close. I gave it there and I want to see cold slow. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I did say that. Oh, oh no. Face reveal. Oh no. Don't take pictures of my face. <laughs> I mean, maybe there's no goals, but there's face reveal. How's about, how about that? Yeah, I was crossing there. I was totally crossing there. Still, I know my limits. I know when to push. <laughs> Will be nice to get one of these for licenses. Oh, this is nice as well. The 156. Totally a car I would like to buy. Totally a car that's on my list if I can never afford a car. <laughs> <laughs> and funny enough, there's a few of those in here. There's a lot of 156s for sale. I mean, a lot compared to, you know, the car market we have. If you can even call it a market at, at this stage. back again in Hong Kong as well, which is a track which lately has been giving me a lot of challenges. Especially in the Gran Turismo World Championship, I had to do a really, really crazy race against Amin Olta. It was really challenging for me. Do I... Do I make it on... Time! Yes, we make it on time! At least for silver. The Getaway was such an interesting game. 
it's a shame like it has its problems but it's such an interesting game and it has so many cool cars i really like the cars and the car models as well are really good for its time they are really good they all have damage it's pretty complete oh god more city driving more more city driving with a citroen Especially in Opera Paris, like, <laughs> of course it's going to be Opera Paris. It is the problem with uh, of driving without, because I, I, I don't hear the game out, I don't have my headsets on. I cannot hear the engine, so I can make my shifts. <laughs> it's such a bizarre problem, man. It's such an alien experience to me. Not being able to hear the engine sounds to grab up or down. To shift up and down, no, not grab up and down. Oof. Talk about close. That's a moral victory. It has it, it's a gold on my mind. The game says it's bronze, but in my mind that counts as a gold. Oh more guided laps. More guided laps. Oh right, we have a wagon a wagon for this thing. <laughs> I have to break and wait for this thing. You're you're joking, right? I have a a better start than the pace car and the game penalizes me for it. I hate this thing. I hate this car so much. Uh favorite Gran Turismo game? Probably Gran Turismo 2. Probably. For me it's the most interesting one to play given the amount of challenges and freedom you can get, but Gran Turismo 4 is close as well, I mean from 1 to through 4 they are all pretty special to me Ah uh, no, no, I'm not doing the S license today at least because we haven't sitting here doing licenses for a while so, after this, it's off to racing. Yeah, that, that's the pace car for you. Terrible design. Terrible design. Sick livery, though, I'll give you that, but... Terrible design, and just... Did you see, like, how... How it, it started to weave around? It, it had, like, a total... Total breakdown there. <laughs> How early do I have to break for this? I'm going to break so early around the bus. <laughs> I do have a steering wheel, but I don't play much with it for a few reasons. Assetto is nice, but given it's mostly built upon mods, you spend more time modding the game than actually playing, so right now I have the wheel a bit on the side, I'm not playing anything too intense. Yeah, I think the same, but I, I might want to wait a little bit for the S license. Because I can do most, like 95% of the game with AI, I just need S license whenever I look expert events and that's going to take a while so we have time 215 to six no bronze yeah that's my point like they get boring but at the same time you get them out all of the way really quick and it's like, oh, I don't have this license, I can do this race. I really like to avoid that, I find that super frustrating. The fact that you can do an event and then you have to do an entire license just because you didn't do them at time. 
So I just like to get them all, all out of the way as quickly as possible. It's just my approach, you know. Just in time. Yeah, the, the Spoon S2000 is actually a really funny car. Because, in theory, the stock S2000 of the dealership is better. <laughs> I'm not, not joke, not, I'm not kidding, like, the stock S2000 from the dealership should be better. Yes, I agree, like, 16 tests is just ridiculous. It's too long. Ooh, WRC Celica. They seem to too much, too much. Not only is taxing for the player, it, there's so much you can do, and I find most of them are just scraping the bottom of the barrel content wise. Sorry, is the brightness a bit too high? Because maybe the brightness is a bit too high for this track. Yes, Grand Turismo 4 has actual 24 hour endurance events. But I'm not going to do a 24 hour live stream. <laughs> not now at least. We'll have to We'll have to do other things before that. Eight 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 hundred and eighty gigabytes of asset of mods. <laughs> Sounds about like the yeah, average has set experience. <laughs> See, that's my point. Just so much. Yeah, I know you can use these back, but maybe, maybe if the channel gets big enough, we can do our first 24 hour live stream. <laughs> maybe. I do have an idea for our long endurance race. But we need a specific car for it to do that. Well, a set of specific cars, but they are long and they are like 24 hours long. Oh, come on! Yeah, there's a few events we could do for a while. Maybe ask goals for the channel, we'll see, we'll see. I admit I'm rather, you know, taking it as it comes. I'm not doing anything too planned up ahead because I'm not sure how far this thing is going to go. I would like it to go far, but you know, you know. My god, I'm, I'm sucking at this test. Yeah, I missed, I missed out on the Noble Green 24 hours, sadly, because I always forget, I always forget the date.
Whoa, really? I'm going to use a different camera because I want to see what the car is doing. I can't tell with the controller. Yeah, the B spec is like an AI pilot you have to train, and it's an interesting concept, I'm not going to lie, but at the same time it's really tedious. And we still don't know the full the full system behind it. Ooh, an M5. Man, these things are nice. They're so nice. <laughs> uh, try to send it to light. Oh, come on. Yeah, these things are beautiful. Of course, people complain that they are kind of unreliable, but you know, you bought a B10 four door saloon, it comes with the territory, I will say. Right, so we have to do this test, and then it's off to. AI 15. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> totally looking forward to that. Totally. We'll just go to the R. Ah, it was so slow. So slow to there. I, I was taking it really, being really careful because uh, this car is a bit understeery. TVRs have, have a bit of understeer going to them, so yeah. Now that I know the car turns, I just managed to do the test. And here we go. Now I shall probably try to focus on this. But, you know, I'm going to do my best to do this in one tr when not a single attempt. Yeah, that's what I mean. Because I don't want to spend 10 minutes more than I, than I really have to bring this test. I can tell this thing doesn't have traction control thanks to wheel spin off the line. This thing has no driving aids, right? Just so I know. Because that wheel spin off the line it's totally traction control disabled. I'm really like, if I just cruise, I know that I have enough time. I just have to make it. Just have to do a clean lap. Easy, simple. Nothing too crazy. 
and I'll have enough time to, to finish this. Yes, it is. It's the final boss of the base car because after this event, it disappears from, from the licenses. So it is the final, final boss. <laughs> The bumps, the bumps. I know that was that that line was really awful, but you know, that's the sort of things I have to I I have to avoid. Just don't drive like that. That's not taking it easy. It's just trying to push. You're going to break really early. Break off the sleep stream. I'm going to my for uh, switches up. Like not all tests disable driving aids. Actually, that's why I ask. <laughs> I usually have them all disabled, but you can't in Gran Turismo. That's the problem. That's why cars feel so weird at times. Well, I have to give them credit for a Gran 2004 game. They have a really good, re really good recreation of the Norch. <laughs> yeah, I assume it must, must be strange to watch this layout after seeing it for 24 hours straight. Appreciate if you turn. Thanks. That's the stuff I have to be careful with. Gran Turismo 3 looked amazing for, for 2001. And it still does to this day, personally. I think it's a really solid game. This is close as well. God. After the carousel, my mind totally goes into a plank. That section of the track is always the one I struggle with because I forget about it. <laughs> really, no, I really forget about that section. I, I, I need to, I need to remember it because I never do. Yeah, that's going. To, that's the section where I will be really careful because I know that I can make mistakes in there. I really like the 190E, like this 190E was really nice, I love this car, but I can see why people don't like it if they have bad memories with this test. I remember it being like one of the first cars I bought in my first Gran Turismo 4 playthrough, because I loved it so much. Now don't, don't slide on me. So yeah, I have, I have a really, 
with a special place for the 190. Another car that's on my list of car, uh, somewhat affordable cars that I will like. Of course, not the Evo, because the Evo is just impossible to find, and they cost a fortune, but the regular 190 this. Easy now, we got really far into this. Don't throw it away. Oh, you want to go sideways, huh? I almost lost the car. Yeah, that's funny, like, the original Gran Turismo soundtrack to us sounds so, so unique, but when you start to listening to Japanese fusion jazz from the 80s and all of that stuff, the sound becomes a lot more familiar, that's all I can say about that. It becomes really familiar, actually. <laughs> it's crazy to think something people consider so unique is actually inspired by by stuff that we don't know because of course given there's no internet and, and all from in the 1980s all of those things usually stayed in country it's now that we are starting to discover those sort of things thanks to the internet and yes I'm using the GTT camera mode because otherwise I find Gran Turismo 4 near unplayable <laughs> Yeah, but that's interesting. For me, it was totally listening all of those things in Gran Turismo, and then when I started to discover all Japanese music, it was like, wait a minute, this sounds really familiar. I have to be really careful in this because I don't know when the pace car breaks. And if it breaks earlier, I'm going to crash it, I'm going to let down because. I'm going to crash into it. I know the base car breaks way too early and I remember losing this license a few times when I did it for the first time because I was expecting the base car to break way later and it didn't. So yeah, totally, totally dropping a gear here. And I think, I think I may get silver actually. There's a chance. Yeah, there's a chance we'll get silver. First time and silver. There you go. There you go. And yes, I played Gun Turismo 4 in an actual PS2. My god, that that was a long last. <laughs> I was dreading this test. And here we have the final test of the AI license and then it's just off the races. It took a while, but we got there. We got there. Totally got there. Ooh. Easy as silver, but <laughs> yeah, I had a decent time landing, and they was crossing. Like it was really crossing on that one. <laughs> now the mission is very far. Uh, not, not today. <laughs> not today. No driving missions today. Yeah, 
Yeah, this thing is quick. This thing is really quick. Of course, it's the R92 CP is one of the best cars in the game. Literally one of the best cars in the game. <laughs> Pepsi Spaceship. <laughs> That's such a cool nickname for it. They never thought about it. Sounds different because I'm going to move the microphone a bit, sorry. Because this is a modded release of Gran Turismo 4 for the randomizer. The Admeister, who you should Google uh, put on YouTube because that's the person who made it, mod is working on a bigger mod for Gran Turismo 4. So there's a lot of things that have been changed, engine sounds and other things. Let me let me do something for a second. I'm going to give you the the channel of the person who made this. There you go. That's the name of the person who created this challenge and you can find the the links to on his community posts. Now it's time for the price car. Final price car. But what do you think we, we I get? What do you think my blessed luck will will give me? <laughs> well, fair enough. I mean, fair enough. It was bound to run to run out sooner or later. It was bound to run out sooner or later. Still, we can use this thing for a few races, <laughs> so it could be worse. It could be worse. Yeah, you know, we're going to use it, actually. Well, that's not a bad set of... a bad spread for my tests. 1 gold, 19 silver and 44 bronze. Alright. Ah, small problem. Just a tiny problem. <laughs> By the way, I have to buy the... I have to buy the racing clutch and the racing flywheel. I may have to buy suspension. Oh god, I have suspension. Yeah, I had some pretty good luck actually. We're going to do the uh, oil change, of course. Guy is just drinking our oil. oil. <laughs> We're going to do Sunday Cup for some easy, easy money. Nah, nah it's not time for a wing. 
We don't need a wing. Not yet, at least. GT guy, best of me. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know what I'm going to get from the Sunday Cup. I literally don't know. At last, they can drive without driving gates. God, this feels so good. Uh, I have, I have to pay a limit. Oh, this thing doesn't have a limited slip differential. It's a race car. That's tragic. And we're going to go really short gears. Ah, uh, my God. I can't. I can't really do much with this suspension setup, huh? Uh, uh, oh. Yeah, for that I need a K card. This thing is too big. Hmm? No. I think we are I think we are stuck. Ah I think we are stuck actually. Just a second. Yep, we are stuck. Yep, we're back to doing this. I don't know if I save, but now we have to do this again. Sorry. I'm really sorry for that. Just randomizer thing. I didn't save if I recalled, so I have to do it again. I'll start using save states at the front, just to avoid these sort of things. Oh, did I save? Oh, great. If I save, I can just... No, it won't reroll the first time. They are tied to my name. Yeah, I know that can happen. Oh, I saved. Okay, so I'm going to reset real quick. Sorry. Going to reset. If I saved... No, no, it doesn't reset the price cards because they are all tied to my name. So whenever some so something like this happens, the price cards are, are tied to my name, so... It won't... it won't change them. Ah, yes, we saved. Excellent. Excellent. Sorry for that. I'm really sorry for that. I understand if people just... Alright, tires. That's really frustrating. Yes, they are randomized and preset as soon as I set my name, which avoids all of this stuff from being, you know, being able to be cheesed by save states. Which I'm going to use. Let's see if I have the same pro I hope I don't have the same problem, because if I can't modify this car, I'm going to be annoyed. Okay. 
<laughs> Technical issues just tank viewership though, I have to say. I can see now. <laughs> My god. Yeah, they can be pretty fun. You just read like the little scrolling text. Well, from some for some reason I can't tune my cars. Ah. This is going to be a problem. I don't know if it's the track or what, but it's not allowing me to go in and out of the tuning screen. Oh god, look at the drawing on me. <laughs> it has like a drone fake exhaust on the back. Yes, they do have. Pretty much every race has a price car as uh, a reward. I don't know what I'm going to do if I can't... Yeah, it crashes. Whenever I go back... That's unfortunate. Oh, we're, we're live or not? Did the, did the stream froze for some of you? Because uh, I don't know if it froze the stream or not. Or, or if it was me. Oh, it did. Huh. Yeah, he threw that race away, I'm sorry. He got distracted by technical issues. Yeah, I can see why. Uh, eh, we're fine. Good to know we're fine. Yeah, I need to I need to try again because maybe it's the track, I don't know. Maybe it's the car. But if it's a problem then yeah, this is going to be really difficult to stomach as well for me. Because I'm really used to changing parts and building cars, it's just how I play this game. Uh, I shall. I, I, uh, the last thing I thought would break the game was changing settings. <laughs> I tried everything but buying a new car and just building it off the off the ground. I should have tried that. <laughs> Goes to show, whenever you mod a game, you just have to prepare for everything. here with the CRX. <laughs> of all things, I didn't expect this Honda Fit to be drivable. I mean, it's really nice. Even with medium tires, it's really nice. Yeah, but it's weird. I mean, I, I get it could happen once, but twice at the same spot, then there's something wrong, like with my my setup maybe, because you know it's an emulator, or maybe the track itself. I shall have to try in a different track and do my setups in different tracks. Ah, interesting, could be the suspension. Interesting. Yeah, I lost this race. Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll try that. We'll try disabling the assist because it drives a bit weird. And I'll try to see if I can touch the gear ratios.
Mm, nope. No, no, no. I can't. I can't touch anything in this car. Can't touch anything at all. Yeah, way to start with. I mean, I I, I thought this this car will be a good starter, but I ha I'll have to find something else because it just doesn't work. Yeah, no, I cannot change anything on the car because it crashes the game. That might be something to keep in mind with race cars going on forward. We'll try to win this ra one race with this car and then we'll just go into the garage and try to do something else. And then we'll find something slower for this on the God, just look how my car slows down thanks to driving aid. Yeah, thanks, PTI. Thanks for being a roadblock. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking about that as well. Trying it in a different track or outside the race. And yeah, we'll, we'll try to do something else. I'll, I'll play around with this car later and see what, what, what happens with it. Sorry for the technical issues, everyone. From the game crash to this, this is really, you know, frustrating. For me as well. <laughs> I really like to bring, you know, the, an interesting experience and I know some people just don't, don't really like to deal with technical issues. Nice throw. <laughs> or 106. Okay, that's a win. That's a victory for us. Yeah, I did manage to win. Technical issues or not, my skills remain untouched. <laughs> right, how did you... I forgot how you tune a car from the, from the garage itself. I actually forgot how you tune a car from the car itself. <laughs> oh, press the start, of course. Right. Yeah, I'll try that on the next race. Oh, we are... Oh, I was already trying to overtake the Mini Cooper <laughs> of the line. That was, that's a good start. There's a C3 on the lead of all things. Of all things, there's a C3 and C3 on the lead. I knew it existed, but I, I never used it, so I forget. I totally forget about it. Yeah, I know, it's not clean, but... Uh -huh. I really want to see if I can 
work with this thing or not. So far it's been really, really nice to drive, at least in this circuit. But uh, the, uh, the driving aids really get on my way when I throw the car in and they slow me down. So yeah, if, if I want to push this thing further then they'll have to go. And brakes are really good, the, the thing just stops. Brakes are really good. Yeah, sometimes doing things by accident. We discover a lot of things by accident. You just don't realize and then you, you just unlock the new secret. <laughs> that does happen. Fastest lap for the end of the race. Pretty good, if I can say so myself. <laughs> you see, right? <laughs> I know I'm cutting corners, but you have to. In my in my benefit, driving this thing with driving gates is a bit strange. It's tall and in. It reacts a lot to my input. Save. And save state as well. Ah, no, I don't have to change the UI. It's a new car. Now we will keep this low because this thing has really good brakes. Okay, let's just right. Okay. So we're going to do this off the off the garage menu from now on to avoid any any undesirable accidents. Shorter gears. Thanks, by the way. I was I I wouldn't have thought about that. Let's see if I can touch suspension. Yes, it does increase HP, but um, given I'm doing all right, I don't want to increase the HP for now. Yep, I can even touch the weird suspension kit and it will work. Problem solved. Well, I mean, not, not thanks to me, thanks to you, that's... That, that shall be said. I'm grateful. Thank you. Oh, hi, Spidering. Oh, there's another on the Honda Fit. <laughs> Your Honda Fit is not a race car like mine. See? That's the problem. So you're going to lose. Here. It's going to be fun to drive this thing without driving it at last. This thing has five gears, by the way. It is a really, really funky experience driving this. I never actually drove this car in game, like, never, never at all. It's 
get out of the way. It's like, uh, if you look at it from behind, it's like a tall banana box, and from the front, it's, I don't know, what. Well, uh, I don't know what I can say from the front, which has a light blue shape. I'm out of I, I'm out of jokes. <laughs> <laughs> the power of a spoon. Hector will be proud. <laughs> <laughs> My god, they are all so far behind. <laughs> yeah, that's actually, yeah, that's another way to put it. That's another way to put it, totally. Hey, this car drives alright. I'm not having any problems with it. I expected it to be worse and it's actually really good for a starter car. So, yeah, do I have the best starter save out of all of the people who stream this game, or there's someone else who got better cars than me? It will be interesting if I, of all people, got the best save. I'm not going to lie. It will be really, really funny. And it means everyone who got to watch this thing is actually a really, really cultured individual who got to see the best starter lineup for the Gran Turismo 4 Randomizer. You know which name to type if you want the best cars. We're going to cross the finish line. Totally easy. Totally easy. That was such an easy race. Each time the screen goes black, I'm, I'm going to get scared. <laughs> I'm going to get scared each, each time the screen goes black because I'm going to wonder if the game crashed or not. It's going to fade away in a bit. Ooh, 50 points. Has anyone in chat played this and which cars did they got? I'm curious now. I really want to know which cars you all got. Oh, around the outside, around the outside, there we go. It is part of the challenge, like you have to lapse and the opponent, the leading car gets such a massive advantage thanks to the rolling stars. That is one of the most annoying things for me of Gran Turismo 4. Thanks for blocking me, this is the sort of things that I can't afford to happen. Because it's so much time that you lose. And given races are so short, you need to get clear of the pack as soon as you can to chase the leader. too long to remember. What do you mean? This thing has been released uh, a few days ago. <laughs> really? Re that was you. I, I saw that. I saw that on, on my server. Like, it was hilarious. That was so painful. 
That was so painful, man. I, I feel sorry for you. That is the sort of things that happen on my Discord server. You get to see people getting Ben's carriages from getting all gold in a license. The average experience. <laughs> ah, no, don't worry, it's fine. Just figured I shall, shall let you know. I was curious on the randomizers people got. And to see if, the, if someone has gotten a better lineup than myself. Yeah, you do. You totally need to give this a try. Yeah, not far off. That's another useless car, and you get it from the S license. It's really, really annoying as well. Another car nobody cares about, and it's locked behind such a such an absurd requirement. Now that I think about it, you know, I stopped looking about it for a second. There are so many useless price cars in Gran Turismo 4. There's the... both the Benz cars, like the 1986 first Benz cars. The tank car, which is useless. Concept cars, which the game doesn't let you use because it's uh it's about i don't know why they they gave you cars that you can't use so yeah there's a few things that just you can't use at all which begs the question what's the point if, of giving me a car if i can't use it and all i can do is just look at it Yeah, the apart one to all isn't that good, really. Isn't that good at all. And the fact that you, there's not much to, to do with the CN and the W12 Nardo, that's disappointing, given they're both brilliant cars, especially the W12. And it's Luck because oh god the, the 206 broke so it started to break so early. He 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 just slammed on the brakes. Anyways I was saying like the W12 is locked behind expert events which take ages to unlock and yeah you, you there's not much you can do by the time you unlock it. The one with the fan on the back is the Chaparral 2J. You can buy that thing. You can buy that thing for for a million credits. It's actually really cheap. And yeah, it's totally busted. <laughs> totally a busted car. I mean, it was busted in real life as well, so it's fitting. before the end of the race. All I had to do I all, all I had to do was bring the car home. But no. Of course not. That's not how we do things in this channel. With that said, it's time for a new price car. 
will my lucky streak continue or we're going to get something really really fitting of the of the randomizer title save state just to be safe <laughs> hey this is pretty good actually this is really good actually I've been using a bit for a few races and it this thing's excellent and we get it new like with no with no extra miles or anything like it I know what we can do with it okay car exactly Look at this baby. Totally. That's a nice beat to it. <laughs> nice. Bring your best beat jokes. We're using the Honda beat. Should be tall. I this is actually a good starter car. Just a little spoiler for my next video in Gran Turismo 4. This is actually a really viable starter car. So don't go knocking the Honda beat. We're going to remove the driving aids. And then it's soft to racing. It's funny that I used a Honda to win another Honda. <laughs> yeah, there are some cars like all wheel drive cars, they do that. <laughs> oh great, I'm I'm already stuck behind the Suzuki because the autopilot just slammed the brakes and it's just stuck. I really like that green beat. That's actually what I used on my video, like a green Honda beat. And it did so good, I'm so pleased by the Honda Beat. It became one of my favorite gay cars already off the, off, the, off the line because it's really good. There, there is no way around it, this car is really good. With a few extra parts, this thing can destroy cars which are way above its level. I'm talking Honda NSX type of cars, literally. Goes to show you should never, never underestimate. Gay cars. Gay cars are truly broken machines. Totally, totally a a, a really interesting line there. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, we started to break at the wrong time and yeah, totally upset the white balance there.
If you had to pick a K car, which one would it be? The Honda Beat, the AZ1, the Cappuccino, or something else? I really like the AZ1 because it has the most crazy design. The Honda Beat is really nice as well, of course. The Cappuccino is probably my favorite out of the three. It really depends, it changes with the time. A few days ago, I, a few weeks ago, I said that my favorite was the Acer 1, then the, then the Cappuccino, and then this thing, it goes all over the place. Oh, the, the Alto works, the Alto work is interesting. It's like a tiny, tiny box with all-wheel drive and a turbo engine, that's totally, totally fun. I think there's a fi I think so, I, I don't remember actually. Ah, the, the, the city turbo is really cool, yeah, totally. You know which game made me appreciate the, the city turbo? Tokyo Extreme Racer Drift 2. I bought a one on that game and it was a really solid car for the early game. So... I appreciated the thing after that. Yeah, it came with a motorbike as well. The motorbike is so cool. The little motorbike is so cool. Yeah, the Ginetta G4. Yeah. That's it. Two thousand credits, not bad at all. Oh, rolling start in Tsukuba. We'll see what we get up on the uh, in the lead. That will totally be fine. Oh, of course, it's another beat. This is going to be interesting because the rolling starts in Susu in Tsukuba gives you such a massive advantage. The leading car just cruises off the line because they have so much time under favor. In these slower cars, it's obviously harder to notice, but when you get into the faster cars... Yeah, it starts to get interesting, to say the least. Unfortunately. Oh, there's an Alto Works here. Oh, don't block me. That thing just got in the middle of my line, it's just a, a massive roadblock, a massive square roadblock. Now look at the silver Honda Beat with its tiny spoiler, I, I don't know if it shows on screen, but the silver Beat up ahead has a tiny, tiny spoiler. A baby spoiler! <laughs> Right, I have to catch that thing up ahead. Three seconds, see? Like, it got three seconds away while I sorted my way through traffic. And I managed to gain at least one second on the first sector. Yeah, I assume like a clean city turbo with the motorbike, it's a collector's great item now. So, yeah, they're going to ask a lot of money for one.
force a strat they beat, I need to be a bit closer. <laughs> we'll see on the following lap. We're gaining on it, alright. We're totally gaining on it. Yeah, Japanese cars come with flares, actually, that's really interesting. Of course, most of them don't work by now, but they had flares when they released, that's pretty cool. Here you have people being concerned, no, oh, this angle, it's bad for the pedestrians, and the Japanese just, nah, have a flare on your car. It's a fire hazard? Nah, you shall be fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> That's the spirit I want from... from regulations in cars. <laughs> We're side by side now. I'm going to make the overtake on the final turn. I get sleep screen on my side, this is good. This is good. Yeah, I'm going to force a strap the beat. <laughs> no! Oh no. Oh. Ah! Just don't have a zero point. Just don't have it off the line, really. Like, it just. It's lacking. It had more, it had more speed than me. That's really disappointing. We got beat by the beat, yep, pretty much. I'll try to drive a bit better on this starting lap. See if I can win a bit of time when sorting through traffic, I got blocked by a few cars. And I think the burst the that's my problem, like, I got blocked by a few cops and, yeah, lost a lot of time. The beat goes on pretty much. Non-stop beat. That's the way we do things in here. Yeah, see, I'm going to get rid of this square roadblock as soon as I can. We are already in fourth place. Put a bit here, don't have to break. Maybe I can... no, it, I'm, I'm faster than it. Have to get past. <laughs> Yeah, it will be nice to have a horn, but no, I don't have an air horn, like I'm just going to put the windows down and start honking at my opponents with a, an air horn as I go past. <laughs> yeah, we're still in the same position as we were the last time. I have to focus a bit. Try to gain on it as much as I can. The worst thing about driving these slow cars is that you feel you are in range to make an overtake, but in reality you aren't. Given how slow you are moving, it can be a bit deceptive. Yeah, it's a bit... Uh, Thing. It's not a bit sad because there's a bit sad and a bit sad. I think I think the sad is the one with spoiler.
Yeah, they are a test of patience. Like, I like them, it's fun, but they are a test of patience because it's all about momentum. Like, if you lose too much speed, you are... it's game over, pretty much. So you have to be patient and really consistent and maintain a, a, a quick pace. Hello, Kennedy. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a nice Sunday. Here we are battling with the Honda Beat in our Honda Beat. <laughs> yes, you have to keep them on the on the high rev range so they don't lose power. It's momentum. That's the game name of the game. Keep your momentum and don't lose much speed at all. And if you lose it, make sure it's a, for a good movement like that. And then you'll be fine. I have to make sure I can pull away from this guy, and yeah, we shall be fine. You know, this car turns in so well. I really like. I really like how it handles. There we go. First time every time. Ooh, more money. Exactly what I needed. Ah, uh, there's no beat one makeup. If I recall. This, this will be interesting. The rest of the cars are irrelevant, but the cappuccino, which luckily starts on fifth place, is probably our competition. And it's in a beautiful dark green shade, of course. I really like that color. <laughs> they are, he's already going for it. I'm getting stuck behind this block. It's in their block with wheels. Sorry. Going to squeeze my way past these guys and yeah. Off we go. Off we go. What is that thing? Ah yeah, that's the I had uh, I had to know the Mitsubishi Minika I think it's called. Yeah, the Minica. Yeah, I know, that line was a bit creative, but, you know, I wanted to get past. Uh, yeah, especially in this boring-ass track. It's going to take a while. But we'll be fine. I know, I know, that wasn't really clean. If we take 30 seconds per lap, then it's a 3 minute race, probably. Cool vibrations. <laughs> and I'm driving a red Honda as well, of course. <laughs> oh god, I didn't realize. <laughs> I totally didn't realize. Cool vibrations moment of the stream. Yeah, I mean, I'm, at least, at least I stick to my... I admit it's dirty and I, I, I try to be professional with my dirtiness while, while driving in this game. I'll make sure to tap my opponents at the best time. At least I am professional at that. I, I, I take my craft seriously, you know. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> yes, 2000. I mean, you could do way worse than a Honda Beat. Let's be honest, who wouldn't like one of these things at home? Thing is, some people might not fit in this thing because it's really small. I, I don't think I will have a problem, I'm not that tall, I'm kind of short, so yeah, I shall be fine. So I would totally like to have a Honda Beat at my home. Right. right, this is done and we'll get a new price car. What do you think my new price car will be? Right, right, here we go. 2J, someone's begging for a Fiat 500, I see it already. <laughs> oh! Yeah, I mean, it's something. The fit is still better, but could be worse, I guess. Uh, yeah, it kind of feels vanilla, actually. Look at your point. Um, well, it's a car, pretty much. What can I do with this thing? This thing, boring ass thing that I got. I don't have enough money to throw on the on the uh, beats, so we'll have to look for something else. I want to see if there's a master to master to race. No, of course there's not a master to race because who cares about the master to? Time to safety save. And we'll get in the yeah, we'll get on the GTR. Why not? Wing with a stuck Damia, no. Uh, I don't know what I can do with this stock Demi, just... I'll think about it and if we have enough money, maybe I'll throw money into it. But maybe, 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 just maybe, we can find something to do with the, with the Master 2 Demi. I think it's a Master 2. Right. Off we go. This shouldn't be too bad. Sorry, tap the microphone there. Right, this thing is going to understeer because I wasn't able to buy the the torque split or a limited slip differential to adjust for my liking, so yes. We go from a, from a red Honda to an R32. Of course, this is a white R32, but still. This is like... This is exactly the sort of stuff initial the Weeb fans die for. <laughs> of course, the best thing will be to do is to sell it. Yeah, I don't want to sell cars. 
I'm going to keep it because maybe I find something to... Oh! Oh, I think there's a race I can do with it. But it's going to need a bit of attention. Yeah, this thing is under theory. I can do a bit of upgrading and... Maybe we have something to do with the master. Yeah, totally. I can do the Japanese compact race. Yeah, now. Now, now makes sense. I can do the Japanese compact race. Or maybe world compacts. Maybe you can do that as well. See, there's a few things to do with it. So I'm not going to sell it. Yes, it is. It should be. So we're going to do Japanese compacts. And yeah, that we I mean. But I need a bit of money. I need money in game, I need money, I need, I, no matter where I go, I need money, I'm, I'm always broke, it's part of the, it's part of the appeal of this channel. <laughs> the financial distress <laughs> is going to be a, a common theme. No, understeer means the front of the car just doesn't rotate when you're turning, so... It feels as if the, if the car is going straight, because it is going straight, it's not turning in as you will like it. That's what understeer means. Yeah, this thing is kind of busted for this event. But it might be a good fundraiser to have a few easy races before we... we decide to drive that red brick I got. You get so little money for this. Yeah, it's a tool up race. Oh, it's Autumn Ring Mini again. Yeah, even even with warm tires, this thing will understeer. It's like one of those rules for life. Oh, why do I get so... Oh, yeah, because there's a wagon, right? Why does an RS, RS4 wagon tank my A-spec points when it's really like 370 horsepower? It's such a quick car and... Uh, A-spec points are weird. They are so weird. It's rather easy to cover it. Oh, there's a Dutch Ram, that's why. Oh, hello. That's why. Oh, there's an RS6 to Jesus Christ. This shouldn't be easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I totally missed the Dutch Ram. It's dark grey as well, like, as, at least bite in a decent color. Yeah, true that, but A spec points don't keep don't take track layouts into consideration. It will be way crazier if it did, believe me. It will be a nightmare if they did. Yeah, we're going to be fine, it seems. I 
the 3000 GT in second is just holding that place. They each just pulled away from the rest of them. I find it curious, like the 3000 GT is actually a really good car, but you don't get to use it much because you always buy a GTR or something like that. Final lap of the race. I mean, still, if I get stuck, I, I can just get on the NSX and try to do one of the the Japanese touring car race. I could do that totally, <laughs> and see which car of which which, which oh god, I got stuck. Which price car I get for my efforts? So totally, that will be a way out if I ever need new cars. Hey. Yeah, the the GTR is really heavy. It's like a ton and a half, like five hundred, one thousand five hundred kilos. Yeah, that's kind of the downside of Gran Turismo Four. There's no racing modifications. In replacement, you can bolt a uh, eBay wing into your cars. Which is funny, but it's not the same. It's not as cool. <laughs> Still, it is pretty funny. Oh, that there's a lot of legacies in this lineup. It's more like it. Another 3000 GT, and there's a Stagia right there. <laughs> this Stagia was pushing the 3000 GT. And yeah, <laughs> that was really funny. He, he, I mean, I got that position so easily because they were fighting with it, with themselves. I just squeezed past and made myself with the lead. Yes, I find I find past wagon, wagons really interesting. I think they're really cool. I mean, all people. I mean, sorry, I God, I'm struggling. I think most people here find them cool, but you know, it never hard hurts to to do a bit of appreciation for them. me, I don't know why I do that, it's just a habit. <laughs> yeah, the RS6 Avant is a brilliant thing. Especially those that they did with a V10. Those are dreamlike. I don't know how much they are asking for a V10 R6 right now. But I assume they're going to go up sooner or later because they are really special things. And then you get with those cars and this is going to sound really really silly, but with those cars one of my problems with those cars, if I could even afford one, will be the the color game. What do I mean? Most people bought them in awful colors, like silver, dark grey, white well white I like, white is nice. Black, there's a lot of black cars and it's kind of boring. 
if you want a special color, either you'll have to get really lucky or pay an absurd premium. Or usually both together. <laughs> so yeah, that's something to keep in mind with those cars. No, the RS6 got the V10. The S6 never got a V10. Yeah, Volvo made some interesting wagons, like the B70R is really cool. Yeah, the new ones are uh, between Turbo V8. The new ones are between Turbo V8. Look at that thing, like that Range Rover concept thing. That's tall. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's a nice design actually. But it's a shame, like they never did that two-door Range Rover thing concept. But it's really nice, I'm not going to lie. Really nice. GTR just destroying these events. <laughs> we have this race and another more, and then it's a new prize car, so it will be interesting to see what do I get from. Oh, God. For an all wheel drive challenge. It would be nice to get something fitting, like another all wheel drive car, but you know, it's randomized. In the CTSB wagons are so expensive because they are rare and they demand such an absurd premium. Good luck finding one. <laughs> Yeah, they made them in both generations, but they were always pretty limited. If I remember, they were made them in both generations, but the second one got dropped out earlier. If I remember, I'm going off my mind here, so I can make mistakes. <laughs> I actually find that interior really interesting, like the orange leather one. If I ever found a P70R, it, it, it will have to have that, that interior color. I wouldn't have it any other way. It's something so unique to the vehicle that it has to be there. <laughs> yeah, the air class is a really interesting thing, actually. The R class, of course, this the R63 we're talking about. I don't know who thought that would be a good idea, but thank you, that was a brilliant idea. God bless AMG. Yeah. 
easy here now. Find the map. Don't want to throw it away, but we're fine. Like, I'm so far away from my opponents. We'll have to do. We'll, we'll have to do something because these races are. I'm just cruising about. Then again, that's what happens in beginner league. You kind of cruise. These races are really easy. Yeah, there was an evil wagon as well. Those are those aren't as common. Right, another win. Another victory. Caravan turbos. No, I never seen those. Those sound pretty crazy. Um, uh, I'm curious now. I'll have to look it up when I'm done. Yeah, the AES 300 wagon also exists. It's in this game, actually. I think it's something called something cross sports, something like that. Sport cross, there you go. Yeah. They're really cool. Oh, there's a Naudi Quadra in this line now. It's totally going, it's going to get destroyed, but, you know, it's nice to see them. There it goes. Oh. Also, after this race, I get a new price card. Ah, uh, there's a silver Evo 5 up ahead. And there's an Impressa leading. Yeah, I shall be fine. Yeah, but I want to I want to do a few extra things before I tackle the GTR Cup with this thing. Because yes, it will be a challenge, but it won't be as fun if I don't do those things that I want to do. I need tire, suspension and a few parts. And I don't have the money for that. I'm broke. <laughs> A sentence that you will hear me say a lot of times, actually. Because in this run, I don't know if I can grind for any price cars. We'll have to find events to grind for price cars if I want money. So that's going to be a constant theme, being broke. I would like to forget I'm broke as well. I appreciate that. I would like to forget as well. <laughs> yeah, I think I started to break a bit early for this. Yeah, the RS2 is a really special car, not only for Audi, but as a whole. Of course, now they are really hard to find. They are really expensive, but, you know, it is what it is. It's a piece of history. Actually, Porsche didn't do much, if I recall, in the Eros 2 development. Sure, like, they got... Like, the brakes and rims are off the shelf from a 964, if you see, like, 
they are off the shelf 964 rims and brakes that's that's classic Porsche like using their parts <laughs> now uh hey Miguel it's a GTR a 91 GTR which we got as a price car for a license because all of these price cars are randomized and we're going to get one right now because I'm going to cross the finish line in a little bit and it's time for a new price yes that ex that's exactly what I need uh, Mitsuneko I need exactly an event which I can do multiple times and w which gives me a good price car and I can sell it off and do multiple times because the prices are tied to my name and not the race itself. Yeah, the problem with Capri Rally is that I don't know which car Capri Rally will give me. <laughs> uh, no, everything is totally randomized. So yeah, we'll have to fish for a new, new price car. And here we are, moment of truth. It's time. Oh, this thing. The Suzuki Swift concept. I mean, it could be worse. Gotta say. It's not about the car at all. Yes, it's a one-make car. But the problem is there's... Oh god, no, I don't want to do this race because it's so busted. The the Suzuki... The mid-engine concept, the little thing that comes as a roaster, I don't know its name. It's so busted, it's not even funny. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. But we can do Suzuki concepts, which are most of these things, and eh, we shall be fine. Yeah, the GXR. Uh, this car isn't too bad, the problem is that I might have to deal with an overpowered opponent. Which is funny, because if I can't get my own GXR, then I think that race might be unbeatable. <laughs> Literally, that's how bad it gets. Uh, I don't think this thing can have a wing fit to, fitted to it. We can try, but... Oh yeah! It can! Oh god, just look how awful it looks. <laughs> totally, totally meant to be there. Totally stuck. Uh, Japan. Suzuki. Oh god, just look at those things. This is a new change by the mod. Look, it it, re it remades the the dealer lots like the the images. Suzuki K car cab. Oh, right. Now there's no tires restrictions, but yeah, might have to wait for this. I think Forza Wing is worse. It's a newer game. They should have it. They should have done a better job. Yeah, I mean, it will take a bit of money to make this thing competitive. So, yeah, we're not going to do that. Why do you do this though? Wasting all of our money on oil changes. Totally, 
totally wasting our money on all the oil changes. There's no Demia Cup. Ah, uh, I knew. Totally new. It's a new car, it's clean. What sort of person you think I am? I'm a clean person. My cars are clean. We're going to put HKS muffler on it because why not? Oh, another brilliant change for, for this mod is like it removes a little window which wastes time when it's applying racing parts and upgrades. Totally welcome. This should be fine, I hope it's fine. This shouldn't be too hard. It all depends on the gearing this thing gets stuck. Because if the gearing is awful, then I'm done. Off we go. Ah, no, should be doable. Oh my god, it's tall. It's so tall. They are pulling away from me. <laughs> I have... Keep in mind that these races are really short. They have two laps at best. Oh. Oh. We'll appreciate if you turn. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, might be good. Yeah, might be good. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny you can do this racing asset so that's yeah. It's so the the requirement can be it's just like finding a loophole on the rules. Like they just give you the rules and it's like, ah well but this car is just, it, it falls on the re precise requirement so you can race. Oh god. That's so funny, like chasing the rules is always so funny. Hey, first place. Can you? I think it's just restricted to Japanese cars. Yeah, so, you know, I'm thinking, uh, I might want to do a few streams during the week to play more of this, because I, I really want to see what's, what, what else is hiding for me. But of course, if I do one race each week, and then I won't finish it at all. So I'll have to mix this with making videos, because there's a new video on Gran Turismo 4, actually, in the works, and should be up in this week. So I'll have to balance it out, like, just videos and, you know, video on streaming, video on streaming, because also I have to finish the Gran Turismo 2 playthrough. I don't want to leave anything by the side forgotten. Even if this one is more important because it's new and fresh and I want to see which options it provides me. I'm really curious about it. So I might have to make a few streams during the week. Maybe, I don't know, I will see how I handle this. Well, 
Well, if you all are up for an extra dose of me, which is... Well, it's mostly about the game, let's be honest here. <laughs> yeah, you shall get what you are craving, an extra dose of randomized Gran Turismo. Which isn't such a bad thing, you know, it's it's always good to have... It's always good to have options. Even more so if those options are outside of your control, like in Gran Turismo for randomizer. Uh, the channel is growing, actually. Patreon isn't moving as much, I admit. But, you know, I think that's just a size thing. It's going to come as the channel grows, you know. It's going to be natural. But yeah, the channel is growing, actually. At a really quick rate. Second race of the championship in oh we go we go back to this track of course more atom autumn ring mini admit I want to get the next video as quick as possible to to give the channel a well-needed boost so you know how the YouTube game can be sometimes you have to run before you walk in YouTube and of course that can be a bit annoying but at the same time I, I understand that that's just how it works I had videos blow up before and have nothing which manages to to capitalize on it so I know I, I had that, that issue before that experience before and it's really nice when something you make it's really nice when something you make just goes it starts to make a lot of people interested and above all entertained uh, I, I, I believe personally that once those videos go out that they are no longer mine in the sense that people will make what they want out of them in the sense that they'll, they'll either enjoy them, dislike them or, or something else, you know. So it's nice when something I make makes other people happy and invested in this little project and idea of mine. I mean, a car wouldn't be bad, I could use it for a few American races, I think, with a few mm, set-up parts and changes and all of that, but I need money. I really want a car that I can grind so I can use whatever trash can this game forces upon me. That's my point, like, I just want to get whatever car this game forces upon me and just throw money and parts at them until they work. That's kind of what I want to do. That's why I like to have money in these games usually, so I can make whatever crazy builds I desire. <laughs> yeah, I do admit the Fiat 500 has become a bit of the face of the channel right now, I understand. It will be fitting that I get a Fiat 500, I agree. This thing isn't all too bad, actually. I was expecting it to be worse, but eh, it's alright. With a bit of weight reduction and the racing mouthful, it's fine. It's just cruising along. Goes to show every car can be competitive if you know where to where to where to race with it. Just manage your expectations and you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, uh, yeah, that will be nice, but we have to we have to do a few attempts before we c we have to do a few runs before we can get to the GT World Championship. All right, time to save. Off we go. Sukuba. Sukuba is going to be fun because, as I always say, the rolling starts are on against me, and it's going to be interesting if my opponents are faster than me, but I don't think they are. Nissan up ahead. I don't. The Nissan Cube. That thing has a CVT transmission of all things. It's not the best car in the game. <laughs> Just to put it nicely, and you're forced to use it for a driving mission. One of the slipstream battles. So it's actually out, out, out pulling me in the straight. Until now. Now we're getting up to speed. But yeah, the other cars are a bit far away. See, that's that's what I mean. They'll pull away from me. And I'm not sure I can catch up to them in three laps. I'm four seconds away. Seconds, that's a, that's a lot. That's way too much. I think this one might be a loss, to be honest. Because that's a lot of time and I'm not it doesn't seem I'm getting any more closer to them. <laughs> I'm gaining but just nothing. Yeah, of course, if I drive like this, I'm not going to gain anything on them either. Now, oh, rolling starts. Always the rolling starts. I'm stuck in, like, no man's land because there's no one behind me and no one in front of me. It's sure a weird place to be. Oh, God. Understeer. Of course, you're going to pull away. Oh. Yeah, I'm too far gone to do this. I never got to drive a CBT car. I've seen a few. They aren't really popular in here. They're, there's, there's not many brands who offer them. Nissan is one of them. And, of course, Renault offer them, but there's not many CVTs from where I live. I personally wouldn't choose one, <laughs> for obvious reasons. here are common in the sense that cars need to be cheap and people buy the cheapest they can find. Automatics are usually more expensive. So yeah. 
It's often. It, it all boils down to money. <laughs> As always. What's fun is like... Manuals here are... Yeah, pretty much. Manuals are getting more expensive because... The people who want them are enthusiasts. That depends on the car, really. Some cars just go under the radar and some others really have the manual premium. One of the brands here which has the manual premium is BMW, by example. When you compare them with like Mercedes-Benz, Mercedes-Benz owners usually don't care. They prefer the automatic. But BMW owners want the manual, so the manual BMWs are usually way more expensive than the automatic ones. Nobody cares about the automatics. Which is right, like, that's the right choice to make. Even old Civics, that's crazy, yeah. I'll have to see, I used to do that for my previous work, like just checking market values for old cars and... It's been a while since I've, since I've done that, but... It might be good to make a little bit of research again. Yaris, I, call, I know them as Yaris. Yeah, but those cars like the S chassis are, are, are cars that are desirable for enthusiasts, so of course they're going to have the manual tax. Those cars is just impossible to avoid it, I think. There is not much you can do about it. It's going. It's the car people want. It's the car they all want, so they're going to be more expensive. ES chassis, MX-5s, all of those things which are entry level for enthusiasts, they're going to go really high up in value, especially if they're a clean manual. Box bodies have become desirable now that they are expensive? I didn't know that. I thought they were all still, you know, cheap. They become, they have become collectible and desirable now that they have become expensive? Or that it's just because everyone trashed them and there's no clean ones and the, worth, the ones worth having are expensive now? Because that might be the case, I feel. It's not the car that has become desirable, but the fact there's no many, not many good ones left. And all the average ones got picked up, used by people who like them and trashed them. That can happen like when you're left with the top of the market of something. And that might seem it drives the prices up, but in order for something to drive the price up, they need to sell. And if they don't sell and they are stuck at that value permanently, then yeah, the market isn't going up for them. I think the next one is the last race, actually. Yeah, they are pretty cool. Yeah, the next one is the last race. It will be time for a price car. It's going to be fun to see what we get from these events. Oh, wheel spin. This thing has wheel spin off the line. Christ. <laughs> the Demium on my side is just chilling. I have the newer one, of course.
Toyota 7. <laughs> yeah, that will be fitting. <laughs> that will be interesting. I mean, we're racing Japanese cars, might as well get a good Japanese car, right? I, I would like something which I can use for FR challenge, I admit. Because I don't, I have all-wheel drive. I had mid mid engine, like I call, throw absurd amounts of money at the Honda Beat, maybe, but no, and be competitive. But I don't have any average FR cars. I I only have the overpowered drift car, which I won't be using for that race because it's just too quick, just too quick. Easy now, don't go into the sand. Next week we have Formula 1 at Monaco, that's going to be the usual Monaco stuff. The usual sleeping pills made in, in racing track form. <laughs> Yeah, makes sense why your the, the fox ball is your favorite. I don't know which Mustang is my favorite. I'll have to give that some thought actually. My favorite is probably like the the final 350R Shelby that they did, which came out in 2015, 16, I think, with the NAE engine. That thing was crazy. I really like that one. But I don't know which one is my favorite, like the more normal ones, which one is my favorite. Yeah, pretty much, it's going to be a parade, yeah, absolutely. Like this race. Which I'm going to finish up right now. You did well, Master, Master Demio, Master 2, whatever you are, I think you are the Master 2. You did well. Let's see. Let's see which kind of which kind of price car you give us. Yeah, pretty much. It, it revs like to eight and a half. It's a beast. I love the thing. And get we get a bit of money for our efforts. Hey, price car time. What the, what will it be? Oh. <laughs> this is actually fitting. This is really fitting for this race. First, first car that is just, I mean, not accurate because you don't get it for this, but it's kind of acceptable for the for the Euro game itself. Not bad at all, actually. Alright, in that note, I'm going to say, if you want to stay updated to what I will do in the future, join my Discord server, which the link is in the description below, and if you haven't let a like, left a like on the stream, now's your last chance to do it, because that was the last race, we're going to wrap things up. I've been here for a while already and I'm starting to get hungry. I hope you all had a good Sunday. Hope you all enjoyed the stream, and I'll see you soon for the next one. Take care, and thanks for being here, I appreciate it.